Hey guys, welcome to my channel! Ah, yeah! Yeah! Happy Sunday! It's Sunday morning. Wake up! Wake up! Get your coffee. Wake up and watch my tarot reading. Why should you watch my tarot reading? Because I'm awesome. And because you're awesome. And we can be awesome together. What do you think about that? Divine Feminine. Huh? What do you think about that? I think that's pretty awesome, too. Happy Sunday, guys. Hope you're having a nice one. It's Messages from Divine Feminine for the week of April 19th. Messages from Divine Feminine. Ah, la, 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 la. Twin Flames, we're going to save the world. Ah, save the universe together. Ah, la, la, twin Flames. Ah, la, 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 la. That's my mocking of the Twin Flame Obsession, what I call the Twin Flame Obsession. That's my mocking of the Twin Flame Obsession, right? Oh, Twin Flames, we're on a mission, and we're going to save the world. Oh, la, 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 la. We're going to save the world, yeah. Well, actually, we are going to save the world. That is actually true. Uh, but it's... It's not the way that most people think. Most people are coming from ego, I believe, with the whole bit about how Twin Flames are going to change the world. And you know why that happens? It's because people watch too much freaking television. That's why. And they think of the whole Twin Flame dynamic as like... You know, like a big fantasy novel. You know, those fantasy novels? The fantasy novels with the wizards and the castle and there's the dragons, fight, the knights are fighting the dragons. And, you know, there's that movie, The Dark Crystal, that kind of is of that ilk. And do you guys remember the never-ending story? Uh, 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 uh. Remember that movie? or the labyrinth, or I don't know, just of that kind of genre, people get this thing about the whole twin flame mission, oh my God. You know, oh, it's new earth, guys. We're going to save the world. Yeah. Well, yeah, but not like that, dude. No, it's not this big ego thing where it's like, oh, yeah, we're on a mission. We're going to save the world. Oh, everybody, oh, spiritual. Oh, yeah. Look at me, I'm special because I met my twin flame and that means I'm special and I'm spiritual and that proves that I'm special and I'm going to save the world on my twin flame mission. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Nope. Nope. That's not how it works, guys. You want to know how it really works? Go watch about 10 or 15 Eckhart Tolle videos. <laughs> It's not like that. It's not ego. It's not like, oh, here we go. We're on an adventure, a mission. We're going to save the world, new earth. Uh, everybody's like waiting for this single event to take place or something. You know, there's this single event where, you know, the twin flame mission is activated and the energy comes out of the crystal ball. You know, and it's, it's energy it like expands over the whole world. And everything changes. Wow. Nope. Stop watching so much TV. <laughs> it's not like that. Spiritualism is a very quiet, reserved, um, introspective space. And you live your life from that space, even if you're doing exciting things. Even if you're doing exciting things, you live your life from that space of the self within. And the new earth is going to be a slow, gradual process of change in the collective consciousness of humanity. And it's not going to come without a fight, guys. Things are going to get worse before they get better. And I think everybody knows that by now. I mean, look at the condition human civilization is in right now. And, you know, that is the real world, practical, realistic uh, point of view on, um, you know, what earth changes are going to be like, what the new earth is, 
the, the new enlightened society that we are manifesting. It's going to take hundreds of years to complete that. Now, twin flames are part of that because um, when you meet your twin flame, they do trigger your spiritual awakening and you are a part of the whole. And because you are a part of the whole, you will be energetically shifting the whole into a higher consciousness. So it is true that you are assisting to usher in new earth. That is true, but it's not the romanticized uh, fantasy novel that you see on television and, and movies. And I think people, they get emotionally invested in the imagery of those types of things, and then they correlate it to spiritualism, and they think, oh, that's what this is. Yeah, we're going to save the world. Uh, mm. No, doesn't work that way. You might, if you're new to my channel, you might go watch um, my uh, Twin Flames Myths video. If you're new here, uh, I don't just read tarot cards and give you a little bit of advice on the side. As a matter of fact, tarot has very little to do with what I do. Tarot is a way to reach people. And those of you that have been on my channel for a while, you know that. Go watch my other videos where I talk about Twin Flames and spiritualism. If you want to really do something about your Twin Flame situation, you can. I, I got my Twin Flame to chase me. I've coached over a thousand students. And, uh, you know, if you want to get out of the obsessive thinking and feel better, I can help you with that. And you can start with my free content that's on this channel. You don't have to give me a dime. Just go to the main page of this channel, New World All Star. Go to the playlists menu and look for the playlist called How to Get Your Twin Flame. And that's all my Twin Flames videos where I talk about Twin Flames. Okay, speaking of tarot cards, these tarot cards are being a little stubborn right now. Come on. There we go. Go check out my free content or, of course, you can sign up for some coaching. Whoa, whoa. Okay, here we are, you guys. What's at the bottom of the deck for Divine Feminine? Oh, bound chicka, bound, bound. It's the King of Wands. You know what time it is. What did I tell you guys? This this came out yesterday. I told you. Divine Masculine, is he he's going to try to resist this right now. This connection that you guys have. And you might be seeing it like that. You might be seeing Divine Masculine trying to resist this connection, um, telling you, oh yeah, there's nothing there. I don't have any feelings for you. But the way they say it in their body language, you're looking at them like, yeah, okay, dude, <laughs> whatever. You know, there's, it's so like the resistance they have to you is so flimsy. They, they can't resist you. And I remember when that happened to me, when, you know, obviously there's no more running and chasing with my twin flame right now. We just are, you know, it's all good. I got her to chase me, right? And now it's all good. But um, back in the day when it was runner chaser, I remember that shit. Oh yeah, we're just friends. Oh yeah, okay. You know, cause that's not what your body language says and that's not what you do. That's not how you act either. And of course it didn't take very long after that. She started chasing me, you know, when I figured it all out. So. Don't buy the illusion, guys. Divine Masculine, they're creeping on you. This is a Divine Feminine reading, but Divine Masculine is at the bottom of the deck. Divine Masculine's a pimp, too. Look at that guy. He's kind of a hunk, right? If you like that. There's that Justice card. Look, this came out at the center of the reading yesterday for Divine Masculine. So... This reading is a Divine Feminine reading, but it's kind of overshadowed, I think, by Divine Masculine energy. Divine Masculine's going to be all up in your grill. I can already see it with this reading right now. That's what's going on. You know, and some of you, you're, I've seen people go, well, Kurt, you know, whenever this happens in the Divine Feminine readings, they leave little comments like, Kurt, I thought this was a Divine Feminine reading. And it is a Divine Feminine reading. It's just that... The Divine Masculine energy is so predominant that it's kind of inescapable right now. 
Divine Feminine towards your so-called karmic situation, your 3D situation, whatever's going on in your life situation. <laughs> There's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. And what came out at the bottom of the deck for Divine Masculine yesterday? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And then there's the Seven of Pentacles, which was how Divine Masculine was towards the karmic. So you're going to be looking at Divine Masculine's situation. It's all up in your grill this week. It's all up in your grill. You, It's so transparent, too. You see your Twin Flames' so-called karmic situation and... You're so engrossed in it. Well, you're, you know, I don't think you care, honestly, Divine Feminine, most of you, but you're still, you're still looking at it going, yep, I see that for what it is. I see that for what it is right now. Look at this. Specifically towards him or her, your twin flame, we got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there is going to be some of that stagnant pain that is parting ways with you. This is recent past. You're going to feel that filtering out. That's why these changes are happening right now. This is huge, guys. Um, you're going to feel that energy leaving finally. Um, there's going to be a lot of feeling better and a lot of manifesting of um, change in your life situation. So thank God we're, we're, we're moving past the pain. Those of you that are experiencing that or have been experiencing that, you can kiss that goodbye. Look at this. Right at the center of the reading. This is exactly what I'm saying. The Four of Cups. This is Divine Feminine. I mean, it, it's, it's not that you're bored with the situation. It's that you don't have a preference. It's not, I don't care. It's, I don't have a preference with Divine Masculine. So that's awesome. That's good, Divine Feminine. That's good. I mean, that's how you get them to chase you anyway. That's what happens to all my students. We just had a call on Friday on one of my group coaching calls. Y'all, you guys that have been on my channel for a while, y'all know me. You know, I'm a, I'm a twin flame coach. I've helped over a thousand people. I've got students that are married to their twin flame. We just had on one of the group coaching calls where somebody, they said, um, I shifted my energy. I did it. I let go of the physical person and now they're after me. And Kurt, I didn't believe you <laughs> when you said that that would work like that. Because here's the thing, guys. Here's what I'm telling you. You can actually shift your energy internally. You don't have to say a word to this person. You make that internal shift and that's when they start chasing you. You make that internal shift and that's when they start chasing you just like that. And it's weird because it's like you have this power over them or something. And it's not really that you have power over them. It's more like letting go internally of the physical person. And that's when they chase you. It's nuts. It, it's like, really? So there's something I can do internally within myself to get this person to chase me. That sounds like magic. It's like I have can power over some someone or something. But that's really what we're saying, and it works. It works. It's bizarre. But that's what keeps happening. Look at this. So towards your situation, Divine Feminine, you must be feeling good. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords in reverse. There, there is no pain to move away from. And even if there was, it's long gone. You know, it's like whatever pain you're experiencing, it's as good as gone, guys. And you know it. You know you're pulling out of that dark night of the soul energy. You don't need the physical person. You are your twin flame. you got to move past need and align with your soul. You and your twin flame are the same soul. So when you align with that energy, that source energy that is the soul, that's when the person shows up. And you feel better. You feel better. Look at this towards him or her. The Hanged Man and the Empress. Exactly. I can take a pause. I can walk away anytime I want. And this is new. This is a new way of doing things for you. This is all new to you. You're like, I didn't think I could pull it off, but I, I freaking did it. I fucking did it. I can't believe it. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
really, really good energy, light energy, guys. I get really laid back, light energy from this reading. And your divine masculine is there, maybe chasing you. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're ghosting you. But you don't even give a shit. You don't even give a shit. And if you do, if you're still in that dark night of the soul energy, you know it's, it's on the way out. You know it is. You know it is. And it's because most of you guys have been listening to my teachings this whole time. You've been listening to my free content. There's a lot of people signing up for my Introduction to the Journey um, online video course right now. It's amazing, you guys. And let me tell you something. After you finish watching those videos, it's like eight and a half hours of videos that you don't get on YouTube. And they're not expensive, guys. I don't charge thousands. It's really affordable. When you're done, you get to talk to me either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting in the Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching System up to four calls a week where you can talk to myself or my coaches. And you guys, I got to tell you, everybody on those calls is having breakthroughs every day. It's nuts. I've created a monster. I said that to myself the other day. By George, I've created a monster, but it's like a good monster, right? It's like the friendly monster. You guys, I'm serious. You got to hear those group calls. They are incredible. You would not believe the breakthroughs taking place. Just go read the testimonial section on my website. Just go check it out, guys. You can get a discount if you sign up right now through April 30th. You get an additional 25% off. Pay in full packages for the introduction to the journey. Just look in the description box below for the coupon code. There's, there's the description box below the video window on this video. There's a coupon code there. Use that coupon code. It's coupon code WOOHOO! <laughs> Use that coupon code at checkout for my pay in full package and get an additional 25% off. It's already $50 cheaper than the payment plan when you pay in full, but I'm going to give you another 25% off through April 30th. Um, and now, if you don't have a couple hundred dollars, no problem. If you got $50, you can start for $53. I do have payment plans. I do have payment plans. There's silver, gold, platinum payment plans. You can start. It's like $53 for silver, $61 for gold or something like that. Go check it out, guys. NewWorldAllStar.com. For some reason, some people, the, the website, you can't get there unless you type in www.NewWorldAllStar.com. So there's the link in the description box. Just click the link or make sure you type in the www and check it out, guys. Let's see what's going on with the good old Eddie Oracle deck. What's up, baby girl? What's up? What's up, Oracle deck? You sexy, fine, sexy motherfucker. What's up? What's up with the Divine Feminine? This Oracle deck. What's up? What's Oh, snap. Is it that one? Is it that? Mm. Oh, it's that one, all right. Holy moly. Well, well, well. Very interesting. Very interesting, Divine Feminine. Benediction. I always have a hard time explaining benediction. So here's what I'm going to do. Hold on a second. I'm going to read the dictionary definition. I just went and looked it up on the internet. Benediction, the utterance or bestowing of a blessing, especially at the end of a religious service. The utterance or bestowing of a blessing, especially at the end of a religious service. And uh, if you're not religious, and I'm not, but spiritual, which is not the same, doesn't matter. Same thing. And look at the way this reading turns out. Look at what we have here. The star. Now, do you guys remember, this is the connection to the karmic, the, the divine masculine's karmic. Do you guys remember yesterday... That Divine Masculine got, I think it was the world in reverse and the tower for the karmic, right? The tower is card number 16 in the tarot. The star is 17. Don't you know? So this is the rebirth after a major cataclysm. And this is showing up 
as the conclusion in your reading. Do you see the flow through of energy from divine masculine flowing through to divine feminine? Do you guys see the connection? Divine masculine's tower card was up here yesterday for recent past. The energy flows through to the star. That's you, divine feminine. Do you understand? Divine feminine and divine masculine, you are not separate. You are one. It is one thing, the twin flame being. Go watch my other videos where I talk about that. And the way I explain it is with science. And it, may, it makes perfect sense. It's, it's totally understandable how I've been able to help so many people get their twin flame to chase them. I've got students that are married to their twin flame. You can go, again, look at the testimonial section on my website from my students. This is science-based. Of course this works. And this is the great thing about our modern world. You see a guy like Greg Braden or Joe Dispenza. What are they doing? The same thing I'm doing. They're showing the world that spiritualism is science. Of course we can explain these things scientifically. Look at this. Divine Feminine. The Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords for your so-called karmic situation, your 3D situation, right? No more feeling trapped. That's exactly what I've been saying this whole time. And we're going to cap it off with a blessing. How do you like that action? How do you like that action, Jackson? Look at this. Towards divine masculine, the seven of wands and temperance, both in the reverse. No more fighting, no more waiting around. I don't have to be patient. I'm just here now. What is is what is, guys, with your twin flame. You got to do soul stuff. And you're in that place of isness. You resonate with that. That's why you're starting to feel better. That's why the obsessive thinking is starting to shut down. And if it's not, go watch my other videos. I can help you do it. I can help you do it. So there you go, guys. Great reading. Beautiful flow through of the energy. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a happy Sunday. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon. And I'll see you later. Bye.